Um, I was uh, uh, in a family that fostered as a child, so my parents fostered children. So I had the experience of being a birth child in uh, a family with foster children. And uh, it really enriched my life. I mean, there were challenges to it and there were things that were difficult, but um, I got lifelong relationships with some really special people and understanding a bit that, about the fact that not everybody has the same start in life as, as I did. Uh, and seeing what my parents could give those children and seeing what I could give them as a, as a sibling within a foster family um, taught me a lot of things, uh, life lessons really, and it definitely enriched my life and I think it can enrich other people's too. Well, I think any family can consider being a foster carer because in the end the most important thing is to provide a, a stable, loving and caring home for a child. Uh, you don't have to have particular qualifications, you don't have to have a particular job, you don't have to have children, you don't have to uh, tick a number of boxes, but you do need to be able to provide that, that stability, that care and that love and fill that space for that child and it could be you. If you think it's not you, I'd ask you to question again because it could be you. We take support for foster carers very seriously. We understand it's a, probably the most important job anyone can do in a child's life. So we take our support to them very seriously. We have uh, a dedicated team who support, train, advise foster carers. If you come to work for us in East Sussex as a foster carer, you will be well supported by a team that's been judged by Ofsted to be outstanding. We will give you the highest level of support. The best people to tell you what it's like and to answer those questions you might be a bit embarrassed to ask are people who are actually doing the job. And what you'll find is that they're normal people like you. They're not super beings, they're not uh, people with uh, armfuls of qualifications always. They're just people like you who want to give a loving home, have something to offer, to give some stability and safety to a child. Uh, uh, but they're also there for you, uh, the network of foster carers, the foster care associations, people who do it. They support each other tremendously. So you'll always have that support on tap from other people doing the job and a good way to start is to talk to somebody who's doing it to find out what it's like. So how long have you been fostering? Um, it's been about 12 years now. Um, I was assessed and registered in um, 2000. When I originally got um, registered, I was registered for doing um, respite children mm. and uh, I started off with, actually I, I started off with a particular little girl that I'd already worked with on outreach um, so I, and that was the reason that I got registered because oh, I wanted to work that. with yeah. her because my own children have grown up and um, gone off and got married and things and so the house was empty and my husband had died so it was an empty house. So you now look after someone permanently? Yes, yeah. He came in 2003 mm -hmm. um, and I looked after him for about a year and then I was asked about permanency and I thought yes because it was working really well. So, so no it's been it's been lovely. I wouldn't have had it any different. That's what I, was you made I wouldn't the right decision yeah, years ago. I wouldn't have had it any different. It's not always been easy. No. But it's about having the right support. Mm.